Halo C, now it's Halo C, it's Halo C, now. <laughs> Halo C, now it's Halo C, it's Halo C, now! Jesus Christ, this PC is just frozen to bits now. And right at the perfect time where all this shit just appeared right on the coast, probably washed up shit or something. I don't even know how I'm freaking powering this PC, it doesn't even connect to anything, what the fuck? Ah, oh, whatever. What's up everybody, there's a storm from Storm and Blackbird back from another yet amazing hiatus. Don't worry, I will never miss an opportunity to make Halo CA now. The very series where I showcase Halo Custom Edition updates and project progresses and in terms of Halo maps, open carnage... Hold on, let me just remove my pop filter, this is totally going through the fourth wall. <gasps> ODACITY! So, uh, this is the first Halo scene now in 2017, and I'm proud to go forward with it. And we shall move on with our very first news of the day. First off, let's give ourselves a round of applause, because all of us got featured in Digital Foundry's retro perspective on Halo Combat Evolved. Speaking of which, we got in by, well, CE3 means. Using the footage from them, and of course, footage from us, with us as actors, we got people's attention on Halo Custom Edition. This video's got a lot of views, hopefully they catch on to that. Maybe it's just because it's a two minute sequence or... Oh well, it's, it's incredible to just notice how much change has happened after numerous of efforts. From us, from Matt Drat, from Slow Bullet, from the C3 crew. Wait, speaking of which, now that a guy like Digital Foundry has just basically mentioned C3, Matt, 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 you're gonna have some trouble with C3 2017, even if that never happens, but you are, you're warned. But where the game really comes alive on PC is the multiplayer and modding scene. In 2004, Gearbox released the tools used to create Halo content to the community and release a standalone version of the game called Halo Custom Edition. Now, I have to admit, I don't actually have a lot of experience here using the Custom Edition, but in investigating what's going on here, you can see that there's a lot of creativity happening within the scene. This video from CE3, for instance, showcases just how crazy the modding can get. And this is only from the last couple of years. That's right, more than a decade later, people are still playing Halo on the PC and pushing the engine to the limits. It's a very cool thing to see. So let's get into some actual Halo Custom Edition news. And we have a seemingly unknown image from the Dreams in a Cryotank kind of thread in Halo Maps. A uh, very specific thing about this image is that the last post on that thread was from January the 2nd, but this image got updated on the January the 28th by the same person who posted last and stating if you see this, you can consider yourself lucky. How intriguing. A big, 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 big multiplayer map release called Dissolution that's never been heard of before in my case. From Ganon, this map is that icy map that you've already probably seen in uh, one of our videos. It's, it's quite an okay map, but it's still in the beta stage. So whenever you want to give feedback to Ganon, you can do so in the thread. Every single shit is in the description. 
CMT SPV3 Part 2 is a mouthful and also got a freaking update for once. Here we can finally see some floods in that wretched mission called the library that seems to be hated amongst the community in Halo 1 and everywhere else for some reason. I really like the library, even though it was a very, very linear shotgun action thing, but eh. That's my thing, really. I think I'm just pretty obsessed with big muscular dudes just wrecking havoc against everyone with one gun. Hey, that sounds like something from the Terminator or anything with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. That's, that's just a plain coincidence, Master Chief. And whilst we're still on the topic of CMT SPV3 Part 2, SPV3 Part 2 has absolutely no skulls, apparently, and instead will feature cross-map unlocking features. Okay, I'm trying my best to uh, just explain this really easily. So, at the end of a map, or a level, you'll probably survive with a couple of marines left, right? Or something like that. Or you'll get transported with a teleporter. I mean, uh, or, or, you know, a pelican. Those marines can probably, those exact numbers of marines and their weapons, and probably that for that matter, can actually be with you in the next mission, like from the beginning. That sort of stuff. But that's not the only idea, right? It's like you can keep your scorpion from that end of the level and then take it with you to the next level, even though it's kinda, kinda mismatch. Ah, there's a lot of stuff in here, but it's not finalized yet. Masters needs your ideas. Maybe you can come up with way better ones than those for any, any, any single Halo 1 campaign mission. This is, this is a great idea, really. Alright, alright, I guess from the last Halo C, now we've got an overabundance of Hell Dead 360 map releases, so... I'm just gonna spare all that time and just put it all into one. So here we go. First we've got DFS Bosque Abandonado. Not Abandonado. Oh. That was Fabrica Abandonada for uh, for a split second there, but indeed the, uh, the Spanish grammar just makes it sure that it ain't that. Bosque Abandonado. <laughs> My sanity is quite awake. <clears throat> Right, so there's a racing map inside the city, as well as DFS Ciudad Spartan, which is also a racing map inside a city. Mm, very self-explanatory there, pretty simple. And we've got Gato y Raton, that's um, cats and mice. Uh, basically, you s spawn with ghosts around you that you can take and you fight against AI raids. Pretty catchy right there, even though we... Well, the next couple of releases we played on HMU. I think you've seen that live stream. If you haven't, then don't. And I shall applaud you for that. Anyhow, this is a pretty buggy game time, and apparently we had to play it on King of the Hill. Oh, well, kind of sounds uh, pretty great. As rats, we have to get some food. Maybe it's on the hill. And then the freaking AI rates will just uh, ruin our day. And now the next one is Pyramid of Power. You do not want to play this map unless you want to play on Oddball, which we did not. So, uh, best bet there is the whole shiny and funky images around you. Well, and uh, also some random porn in there. Eh, uh, go for it. And then the last one is Stealing Your Flags, a certain game type variant from Halo 5. This is, uh, I think it's played on Assault. I'm not positive about it. We not played it we only played it on CTF. So uh, basically one team starts off on top of a tower or a structure or a building and in that building is uh, protected with a couple of turrets, warthog turrets, rocket warthog turrets, protecting yourself from the enemy to capture their flag or getting your flag. It just kinda well failed proof but eh in Halo C there are already some really good tort tags out there, it could have been way usable because A, with the rocket hogs, you cannot even aim down that well. But with the other turrets, you probably could. But it's still there. 
and I think it's it looks exactly like that in Halo 5. Who knows? They don't have that much innovation. Right before I get hate speech, copyrighted infringement, striked from 343, I'll just go on with the next few things. Another release, Halo Anniversary HUD. It's pretty straightforward. It's just as it looks like in the Halo Anniversary. Halo Anniversary. I think I've heard that before. I think it's the Master Chief Collection, right? Or not, I'm just probably, uh... I'm just, uh, deluded by my mind right now. Yeah. A HUD. And from the same author, the Halo Anniversary Master Chief Bipad and First Person Arms. A pretty solid effort there. Looks just like the one in, uh... What was it called? Oh yeah, Anniversary. That thing that doesn't even happen for Halo 3. Oh man, 340, you are such di- Ooh, Too close from, uh, that. Okay, next one is Tanju Smart AI Maps. Yup, a multiplayer map with AI, but not A. But there's are a couple of custom maps. Favorite custom maps on multiplayer with AI in there. Apparently with Smart AI. Whatever they do, they're smarter than your average AI. So I guess better than, uh... Uh, probably 343's AI from every single multiplayer game that applauds you for- Well, hey, I just didn't say that coming. CMT SPV2 beta, the actual betas, are released. After 300 years or so, after the whole leakage happened, I think it was a leakage, and now we've got the actual betas that we've been longing so for many years I, I think it was a uh, I think the feedback and the need for it was pretty pretty awesome thanks masters we've uh, we can now see the SPV2 betas as they actually supposed to be were huh Jesse my favorite spirit animal my spiritual guidance is back as always with urban ever Ever grandiose as this map goes. Like, every second I need it. I need it totally. Like, it's it's a common thing that Hail Death 360 releases his maps in a very short amount of time. And that's because he doesn't have the appropriate tutorials that he needs to make some other quality things and of course his system lacks in power in regarding to all that. Jesse, however, has all the magics and the grimoires to activate them. Jesus Christ, Urban is taking too long, but the w wait will be worth it. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, aka you probably read the freaking title of this video. Yes, Big Ass will have armor abilities, yes, Sprint will still be in there, because Sprint is totally not a concept for Halo, 343 still agrees though that it should be in Halo, but anyways. Armor abilities, we've got Bubble Shield, that's pretty okay, it still needs some work, I can tell you that. And there's EMP, and I really wish to make it a freaking god uh, armor ability, like, eh, you know, I won't tell the uh, effects much. So, uh, next one is health regeneration green mist thingy, as, uh, you've all played Halo 5, uh, <laughs> Halo 3 probably, you know that thing already. And, of course, from Halo 3, no, <sighs> Halo Reach, the hologram armor ability. Kinda buggy in this big ass though, but, yep, that's why it's not released yet, folks, because everything is super glitchy. Now, oh, it, it, it has a lot of stuff in there. Come on, right, right, right. And so, unlike Halo 3 Anniversary from 343, there's a project actually announced called Project Warhawk. This is a single player project, and with the project in its name, considering a lot of projects on Halo maps are cancelled pretty quickly because they have projects in their names. And so we've got Project Warhawk with me as a voice actor. That's 
that makes sure that the single player map will actually be a fail, because I'm the worst voice actor in the world. <sighs> I can't tell you much about this project at all. Nothing. But it's it's there. Alright, I think those were all the news from Halo Maps, and let's go to everything else. In the wacky world of Halo Custodition outside of Halo Maps. Alright, so just like Hell Death 360's map releases, this is gonna go in a rapid fire mode, cause holy crap, the SAPP scripts and Lua scripting is going on a wildfire in this month. So, without further ado, let's machine gun our way through. First one, we've got a so-called weapon, vehicle, equipment, object, tag, IDs, uh, a trivial, tri tri excuse my English, I'm not a very good speaker. So, uh, basically, with this, you can allow yourself to get the, the freaking IDs of these equipments that are in the map or something like that, and you can use that if you wish. I'm not an expert on this. Uh, that's probably an idea you probably have been waiting for. Uh, who knows? And then the next one, Goomba Stomp from Giraffe. This is base very easy to explain. You jump on an opponent, they die. I've been waiting for something like that to happen in Halo very for a very long while. Just, well, a freaking 2,000 ton heavy freaking whale just bouncing on your shoulders is not... Is not well in the actual real life you know so goomba stomp a realistic way to put halo into the realism next one is from altus falcon strafing and height lock Eh, pretty easy explainable but it's only in big ass though unless you know you have some falcons of your own that is actually from the updated well tag pack from big ass from altus not the older ones this Falcon in Big S in the final version 2 can strafe. You can use your A and D keys left and right and with the height lock, whatever key that was, you can stay in the air in that very point. Next we have KDR kicking which actually combats bots pretty well if they reach a certain high amount of KDR very suspiciously then they'll get kicked, no problemo. Then we have a replacing bad words. Lewis Grip, I love this one. When you say a bad word like bitch, it will actually change to love or whoa. <laughs> you know, if I get into those servers with that Lewis Script in there, I would be I would be flabbergasted. You know I swear 24-7. I'm a German. There are no censors where I come from. Next thing we have one hit kill messages. I think it's basically announcing to the world that you just killed someone with one hit kills. Oh man, all those people who love rocket launchers would just love this. Anyhow, the next one is called limiting a full damage dot script. Basically, there's a value in there 1.00 to 0 0.00, and that's actually the percentage of full damage received when you're falling down. So zero. 0.50 is 50% fall damage from regular stats on Halo. Pretty nifty there if you have a wish to go very high and then downwards without dying. Of course, if you don't hit a dead zone, that's pretty common in Halo. Next is something... Uh, it's, it's a pretty okay one. It's spawning vehicles on any map with the letter or the key V. Or something along the lines. You can use that by uh, to spawn a certain default vehicle that's been set it up already and you can go inside it by just the driver's seat pretty uh, pretty simple too maybe you can use that for a certain race game type actually that's that's pretty useful now that's certainly useful go it no, no stopping and race that's what i wanted too the next one is something I've been longing for for a while, but I haven't even realized that I wanted it, just like the, the iPhone. You don't, you people don't really wanted an iPhone, but they did make it, now you do want it. This is called Random Voting. This script allows no one to vote, but basically a random map with a random game type is gonna be played next in the server. So. 
none of you get to decide what will happen. Someone else will. The server. Just like Apple did. No one will... No one will know what will happen to our cell phones. And now they made some pretty innovative stuff. Yikes. Whew, okay. So, uh, gay boys from outer space. <laughs> I think that wins the freaking clan name. I think it's a clan of 2017. Yeah. Okay, anyhow, these uh, fellow... <laughs> Did I say gay boy? I mean gay bros. I can't remember anymore. This name is just hilarious that I can just use it any abbreviation. <laughs> So they are gonna host Halo Custom Edition game nights every Saturday starting from the uh, 11th of February at 8 p.m. New York time, aka Eastern Standard Time. Which means I won't be able to get there as much as I want to, but you can uh, go in their site, grab a map pack, and then get into their server. Maybe there are some people gonna play in that time, probably from the gay bros from outer space. People. I would love to meet them. Holy crap. That's just a bloody amazing name. I've heard for the first time. I, I'm serious. They've been around for quite a long while. Why have I heard them now? Anyhow, if you enjoy these game types, we also do, which we also live stream. These fellows will stay consistent, they say. So stay tuned for them. Alright, and now for some news from Modacity. And now we get into the top 5 Halo Custom Edition videos of January 2017. Number 5 we have right here. And it's a really long video, so eh, if you have the time. This is a showcase of a mod that I've already known for a very long time because the guy who made that map is un it's a, he's an in real life friend of mine from Australia. <laughs> And it was uh, quite a shock to see Fox Island AI getting played in 2017. A freaking AI map in multiplayer, but still, that map was uh, its quite a joy. It brings, brought some memories, and now this guy is gonna bring it up and loot us with its uh, nostalgic effect. Who knows? Enjoy it. Just because they're infinitely spawning doesn't mean that we can't win. Booyah! Yeah, booyah! Oh hey, you wanna watch out there, bud? We're on the same team. Hey, right in the nose. Number four, we've got a video from me here, Gates. Is uh, probably best video to date. It's a game night highlights thing from our Neophobia Beta 5 gameplay. I have no idea anymore when we did that, but it's a fun stage, indeed. And ah. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, check it out, will ya? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Boom! That was so fucking edgy. Bad. Wow. Wow, you can have it, fuck <laughs> this. you get the crotch in the air today. What about your dangerous? <laughs> Number three. <laughs> He's back. Taiwan is back, kind of, but here he has another fun stage going for it this time with even more binocular kills even more bullshit deaths some couple of hilarious admin bands Taiwan knows them all knows the tricks he'll use them against anyone he's like he's like the French he does not discriminate anyone he doesn't discriminate at all he'll troll anyone equally I wish the binoculars old always work. Wait, are you fucking serious? Before watching this, I advise that you have got a binocular with you because we are about to blow some shit. See, it's still working. Okay, so this is the part where I decide what's the number one actually, because. The, f the next two videos are super hard to decide on. I mean, oh man. Right, so we've got a uh, we got the choice between Vadam and Gonzo once again. 
those two have been like reigning championships on this on this list for many months now. Now it's them again. I mean, holy crap, these two are just just wildfire in my case. So I think, in my humble opinion, that number two is Vadam's Showcase Episode Six on games inside a game. Basically, all the f cameo appearances, totally cameo appearances of other games appearing in Halo Custom Edition, like, you know, Samus from Metroid. Yeah, she appears in Halo. Did you know that? Yeah, it's right there. Check it out. Continue on our map showcase is Battlecraft HD by Benji Mod. The people who are unfamiliar with Custom Edition may as well be playing Minecraft. That's the beauty of this map's level design and art direction and how faithful it is to the original game. The neat thing about this map's artwork is how it incorporates itself into some of the gameplay aspects of Halo CE. The hills in King of the Hill, for example, have their own designs exclusive to this map, as well as other objective-based objects as the oddball. And so, obviously, now at number one is Gonza's video, Fantage Numero Dose. God, this is like... I think, you know, the these videos will just have to pop up every every time because this makes this list so freaking awesome check him out and so that was Halo CE now in this month, the first one in the freaking year of 2017. Let's move on, of course, we'll get the preparations to make this show even better. And now I've been sitting on this freaking chair for s too long now, I think I need to get some fresh air. Oh! He wears a tie as money, the best in the nation, he'll beat you all at pool and playing PlayStation, but they refuse to see the massive dream, then they just silly police, come on, come on, let's get it on. Halo CE now, it's Halo CE, it's Halo CE now, include guest here, Halo CE now, it's Halo CE, it's Halo CE now, 